Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Terra Invicta. Now where we left off, we had only played a very small fraction of the game, but it was a bit of an introduction. Now you guys should understand things a little bit better. I am going to be taking it slow still and explaining a lot of the actions that I take, but I'm going to be expecting you guys to start making inferences about my gameplay based on what I'm doing. I'm not going to be detailing every single little public campaign that I take on, for example. Instead, I'm going to be saying things like, I spent some time improving my opinion in the UK, rather than showing you every single individual public campaign that I ran. Now it looks like the Benelux is a bit of a weak point for us. I think we can accept the Benelux getting targeted here. Unifying Europe is probably going to take us on the order of maybe two years, three years. And that's going to be our main objective is to unify Europe. Oh, I completely forgot to explain why we want to unify Europe. Europe is a well-developed, powerful economy. And when you unify countries together, it makes it cheaper to hold all the land. Bigger countries have more bang for their buck compared to smaller countries. For example, if I wanted to control all these like Eastern European countries and Central European countries, it would be quite expensive, right? Like 30 points for the Alpine states for like 1 billion in GDP compared to what? Germany 16, 16, 30, was that, that's like 64 points for 4.5 billion? So you can see Germany is twice as efficient in terms of the total uh, GDP control, right? And the amount of GDP a country has directly correlates to how much investment it can do and so on and so forth. See, Germany has four times the investment capacity of the Alpine states, but only 60% more investment points. So like Smaller countries are more efficient in terms of total investment point income. But if you think about it, bigger countries, like each investment point is having a bigger impact on a per capita basis, right? Because if you increase, let's say you have a million people in a country and you increase the GDP per capita by five, that's like, oh, that's five million. But if you have a hundred million people and you increase the GDP per capita by five, that's five, that's a half a billion. You've just increased the GDP, right? And the economy priority does exactly that it increases the gdp per capita so that's why you kind of want bigger countries right so like uh, an economy priority in america will what is it like 330 million that's 14 so 14 gdp per million Brr, that's a ridiculous amount that's like a, a billion or something what is it um yeah that'd be like a, a couple billion maybe uh in, in terms of gdp investment so it's just really really efficient to have big countries i don't know why i can't do math off the top of my head right now uh, so i'm going to start sending my counselors to ground so they can hide from being detected they're currently detected by every faction here you see on this little bit of the window here this tells you which factions actually have sight of your counselors so it's usually a good idea to start hiding them in the early game like somewhere before the first uh the first year ticks over into january i like to put my guys into hiding this guy isn't very well detected because i think i recruited him a little bit later or yeah yeah so he hasn't been detected quite as much uh but yeah let's go to ground with our guys and hide we have met Project Exodus. We have found one of their factions. We're laying low in Paris. Perfect. Oh, we did actually fail a public campaign in the UK, sadly. Ah, uh, you see, now people are starting to attack our control points in the UK. Now, this is actually kind of a good thing because while this control point is cracked down, we don't actually pay maintenance for it. So something worth considering there, um, which is going to mean now we have a slight positive to our influence and we can still take control of this executive while nobody else controls the legislature. Uh, people did go for the legislature, so I might want to try to control another point in the UK. How close are we to clandestine cells? I might try to go another month here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to let that go because I want to get clandestine cells and I want to recruit another counselor. So I'm going to hold off on controlling the UK because that would put me into negative influence again. I, I like the fact that this is cracked down. I'm OK with sharing the control of the UK with someone on a temporary basis. Let's do a little bit of surveillance in the UK to see if we can catch their counselors in the action and then we can maybe do a little bit of investigation. And speaking of investigation, I'm going to do some investigation on my own counselors so I could discover if they have any hidden agendas or what their or how their loyalty is coming along. Mainly is the main objective there. Right, let's go ahead and continue. We're basically doing the same thing. We're just trying to raise our public opinion in the UK. This has the added benefit of, it, of increasing the success of our missions and decreasing the success of missions targeting us. Uh, so this will allow us to sort of right now we're kind of pretty well in control of these three countries and we have a kind of a soft power projection onto the UK. Um, so increasing our opinion in that country will allow us to have a better soft power control. Okay, now this is huge. We just researched clandestine cells, which has increased the amount of control points we can manage, but most importantly, allows us to recruit an additional counselor, which will allow us to increase our control point income as well. I'm also going to start on the first research of management resource research. This is a faction project. Every time you complete it, you get plus five 
to the capacity of countries you can control. And so by researching this, we will reduce the influence penalty that we're taking, allow us to control a bigger chunk of the world. And most importantly, uh, lower that influence the cap of, of people we're having. So I don't really want to do much else right now. People are going to probably be trying to take over my control point in the United Kingdom. And I might just have to let that happen. There's a lot of like RNG kind of going on right now. Um, because what I really need to do is to get myself another counselor. Yeah, it looks like they managed to crack down that point and grab it. Well, what I'm going to be doing is counterattacking. And I'm also going to be hunting down these counselors to maybe try to de detain them. Uh, because my popularity is so high, I shouldn't have too much trouble if I do a crackdown here. Even if I spend like an influence point or two influence points, we have a really good chance of cracking down their point and contesting it. And we're going to continue to boost our, our um, popularity in that country. Let's go ahead and continue to investigate enemy counselors. Now, we investigated Seamus Lanigan, so we know exactly where his loyalty is. Um, I think loyalty goes up to 25. So his loyalty, I would say, it isn't low in particular, but it's not very high either. We would want to get that loyalty up if we can. Let's go ahead and start investigating some of these other counsellors. How, how, how would we do against a detain here? Only an 8% success chance because his security is so high and our investigation is so low. We'd have to spend a lot of special ops to even have a 30% chance, which is really kind of out of my reach. We could also try to contact him, but I think that takes influence. So we're just going to kind of scout around and hunt down people right now let's continue to scan for enemy counselors detecting them is nice because if they're detected in order for them to no longer be detected they have to spend an action going into hiding really quite handy um, i'm hoping i get a crackdown on this and we're just going to try to contest the uk until i can get a third counts or fourth fifth counselor rather so there's a little bit of a battle going on here. Now, we could have totally gone for a different strategy. We could have gone to try to uni unify Africa. We could have gone to try to take control of America or China or India or any of these big countries. But I find Europe is kind of a fun uh, pl place to play around with. We managed to pull off a crackdown on their control point, which will mean that this is open for attack again. So people will be trying to attack it once again. Um, but it means we've also broken their ability to control it, which is really, really ideal. They weren't able to perform a defend interest. We're very, very close to being able to recruit another counselor. We're researching this very, very quickly. It'll be done in February. Yeah, I have to play it a little bit slow and a little bit by ear here. Let's continue to scan to find people potentially trying to act here. Let's keep investigating counselors and doing what we need to do. And now I'm just going to keep doing public campaigns in the UK because I want to keep my my... The way I defend my interests here without using defend interests, which costs influence, is by having a really high opinion in that country. And it'll also give me a little bit of extra influence, like worldwide, by having high appeal or high opinion. Oh, I should totally change my setup here. I have my uh, setup all wrong. There we go. That should do it. Ah, we failed to investigate another counselor. That's unfortunate. Public, public sentiment of the UK. They're very, very pro us, which will make it very hard to break our control. A lot of stuff happening. We are detecting a lot of counselors. There's a whole like bunch of stuff happening through here, which I'm not too fussed about. It is the 15th of January, 2023. We could hire a counselor, a cheap counselor. Let's have a look and see what's available. Uh, we could get a diplomat. Diplomats can defend interest. They can stabilize, surveil. If, I, I, I think I would like a, um, I think I'd like a fighter. So yeah, this guy, someone like this who can assault alien assets. Uh, someone with strong command points. So I think Ho Chu, is definitely a friend of mine that I would like to get control of. So we're going to work on getting control of him. He's very much so good at doing underhanded stuff. Now, the only problem is that he's an enemy of the state, which means he cannot ever perform a mission in China, um, which might actually be a bit of a problem. So we might have to wait until we can get another actor. Although I, I might be able to hire him on a temporary basis and then replace him with someone more useful. Regardless, we, we will have to, we'll have to, we'll have to kind of like play that by ear. Yeah, we're finding a ton, and I mean a ton of counselors. Oh, that's a little bit unnerving. I didn't know they would be able to get a second control point in the UK. That's actually really, really bad for me. Need uh, I need to immediately crack down that and then begin purging them from this country ASAP. Going after their people. Um, I can't yet do a purge until I get that second rebel, I think. For but for now, if we continue to boost our public campaign, that'll get us closer. I'm really close to being able to recruit someone. So this isn't good. They have control. They only really have control of one point because this one is cracked down. Um, but even so... It's very much so not ideal. We are investigating a lot of counselors and finding out a lot about other factions. If I go up here to the faction screen, we can kind of see where everyone stands resource wise. So if we take a look at ourselves, we are the Academy. I would say currently as it stands, we are doing fairly good on boost income. We're 
okay on these. We have the most money. We definitely have the most controlled nations in the world. So people are going to start doing defend interests, which is something we need to be ready for. Project Exodus is likely to start defending their interests. So I'm going to have to be ready for them. They don't have the influence for it just yet. So I need to crack them down now and get them out of the UK. In fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to make a move on the UK right now. I th No, I need to wait. I need to wait until I have the influence. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Right, let's, things, let's let things go here. Area. We're surveilling London again. We're trying to keep this under control. Um, if I can get that second crackdown, that'll make my life. Surveilled. Okay, we investigated the councillor. This guy. Oh, they must have went into hiding or something because I can't see them anymore. Oh, there they are. Uh, this guy is Yang Peng. He's a diplomat. So we got a good idea of that is. Ah, amazing. So we got a second crackdown in. So I think now we can move on the UK in the next. I need to go through one more cycle and then I can move on the UK. So this is an important early game development, the new normal. Basically, the global discovery of an alien species resulted in an upheaval. So things are moving quickly, political you know, political moves were happening very fast and things were changing on a day by day basis. Now things are settling into the new normal. So whereas before agent missions took about a week, now they're going to take two weeks. So you're going to get what there's 52 weeks in a year and agent acts every two weeks. So I'm going to get about 26 actions per agent per year, which is a really, really cool action economy in this game. I like that the action economy is so limited because it makes your choices really meaningful something I love about this 4X game. Uh, so our counselors are going to take uh, longer to perform action. So the, the political situation is beginning to solidify and it's going to become harder to make changes in the political situation. That's why I'm trying to control the UK so hard. It's also why I really don't want a deep skywatch, a uh, deep space skywatch to be completed because that will trigger uh, the world's discovering that the aliens are not entirely peaceful, which will have serious ramifications for me um, and my faction. Because remember, I'm the people who want to cooperate with the aliens. And if people start discovering that the aliens do not come in peace, I'm going to be having a bit of trouble. Right, let's go another week. So this will be two weeks now. It'll be February 1st to February 15th or whatever. Another alien fleet has landed above Earth orbit. What is this? It's another transport ship. I think these are alien agents being deposited upon the planet. And then they're going to start doing things like spreading alien life forms and doing all sorts of xenoforming and terraforming that are, you know, unsurprisingly hostile to human life. The UFO has crashed in China, which is unfortunate because I'm not going to be able to conduct missions in China. I really don't want the aliens to get control of China. China is a really bad country for the aliens to get control of because they can do a lot of bad stuff with that. This is amazing. Another political cycle has passed and we finally have the influence now to come in and recruit another guy. I'm really hoping I have someone other than that rebel to recruit. I really need someone who's capable of doing offensive operations or honestly someone who's just good at managing my political empire would also be accepted. So let's take a look at the candidates here. We have a diplomat. We have a kingpin. I want somebody who can assault alien assets. That's actually really really important to me because I need to be able to slow down the aliens and their activities. So unfortunately I did not find someone who was capable of doing that. So instead I'm going to take someone who's capable of doing public campaigns uh, like this guy. What are you? You're aware, media darling. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to take um, the tech mogul on a temporary basis. I will be getting rid of him for more. I'll probably wait like a cycle or two. I'll probably check this every turn and see if I can find someone who can replace him. But he's going to be in here and he's going to provide me with the political capital that I need now to take control of the UK proper. So first things first, we need to perform a purge on the executive branch. I'm okay with them keeping control of the legislature, but I definitely want to have control of the executive. Um, do I have the points? Yep, now it's time for me to start defending my assets, in particular in the Benelux. Put a shield on it. And we're going to go ahead and investigate that alien activity in China. That'll give me more insight here. You could inspire. Let's see, who could you inspire? You got a 50% chance of inspiring. I'll spend a little bit of influence to get that up to a 76% chance. So my popularity in the United Kingdom couldn't really be higher. Um, so it's time to start building popularity around the world. The United States is a really good candidate to run this mission rather cheaply. I think 40 per at a 67% chance of succeeding is quite good. And now that I have a little bit of boost income, it might be worth it for me to consider doing something with my hab in orbit. Although I'm going to wait until I have another, I'm going to wait until I finish this management research before I decide upon that. All right, let's let time pass. We've managed to defend our interests in the Netherlands. We've inspired. So I'm expecting the Project Exodus to try to defend that point. We've just researched orbital shipbuilding, uh, deep space propulsion concepts. So the Project Exodus, their goal is to actually escape the solar system to avoid the aliens. So they're going to be, their tech priority is going to be in that kind of a direction. This is going to unlock some new stuff for ship parts. 
Uh, but we're nowhere near ready to start building uh, spaceships to fight the aliens, let me tell you. All right, I'm really hoping for a good role on this purge mission. This is the most important thing. And that tends to be rather true. All right, brilliant. So we managed to finish the management research project. That gave us an extra five points. I wish it would tell you how many points you get. It seems a little bit silly that it doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and get researching a xenology lab. Uh, this is for two big reasons. First of all, it gives you a boost to your research of alien-based technology, and also it gives you a plus one bonus to alien detection on Earth. And part of our goal is going to be detecting the aliens so we can get in contact with them. Right, we investigated a UFO crashdown. Nice, yeah, we purged them, we purged them. Excellent. So now we're in full control of the executive of the UK. And we just need to crack down this final point which is what we're going to be working on. Yes, now we control the United, United Kingdom Army. Perfect. So you, I want you to do a crackdown in the UK. I'll give you a little bit of influence to make that mission more successful. Um, Seamus, I want you to look around the crash site where the aliens crashed to see if there's an alien agent perhaps acting somewhere there. And then I'm going to send you to investigate the counselor in China. Uh, I didn't spot anyone in China, sadly. Instead, I'm going to get you to continue to investigate counselors. 1% success chance in China. 39% success chance in Russia. I think I'm going to get this guy to go to ground so he's no longer detected. I don't like having my agents be detected by a bunch of people. It depends on the faction that has detected them and whether or not I've taken like really dangerous wars and actions against them. But I think having a really high opinion in the United States is going to be key to my long-term strategy. So I'm probably going to have a guy just working on that, constantly putting a little bit of cash to try and improve the opinion of our faction in the USA. Long term, preventing other people to get control of the USA is going to be really helpful. And the USA also has a really big economy. One thing I forgot to do is to set the priority in the UK after I took control of it. We managed to investigate a counselor with a critical success. He is from the resistance and he works as a tech mogul. And we also got an estimate of his loyalty. Something we can do is turn counselors. I don't know how we do that. That There's a lot of stuff in this game that I haven't discovered. I'm, I'm rather well versed in the early game, the very, very basics. Ooh, that failure to neutralize will come back to bite us. Let's go ahead and try that again. He had a 92% chance of succeeding and he rolled a 98. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put him on a permanent assignment with the USA, at least for now, to try to improve our relationship with the USA. We'll replace him in the near future. So if we take a stock of our current position, we're making 5.9 technology per year, uh, 500 per month. This is respectable for the early game, in my opinion. Uh, we have a personality clash. Let's have a look. So I can choose to support one or the other. This is between Venicio and Seamus. Seamus has a loyalty of six. Venicio has a loyalty of eight. I am going to... I'm going to pay the influence because I have it because I really don't want to lose loyalty on my counselors. I don't want to make them more vulnerable. Now, brilliant. We have unlocked the Xenology Lab, which we are going to now go and build in space. In terms of my next project, I'm actually not going to be researching this. I'm going to put all of my science into trying to be the leader of advanced chemical rocketry. I know humanity first. Uh, they might actually... They might get to pick the next research... Yeah, I think they will. That'll be fine. What I want to do is a bunch of things. So you, oh, sorry, the, the turn isn't over. We're still in the middle of the turn. So there's a few things I want to do. I want to check up on these. Ooh, I would really, really like to get control of the Free Federation of Industrial Workers. That's a lot of potential influence. So I'm going to save up influence for them. The Arcturus Trust, I'm not too bothered about but the free federation of the industrial workers would be really really nice do we have any new counselors let's have a look nobody that can assault alien assets which is the main thing that i'm looking for from a counselor right now so nothing to recruit there's certain things that are worth checking every turn i kind of wish if i had to give a criticism of this game is that it has a very old feel of older strategy games where you were, you were kind of required to do a lot of the legwork on a turn. Like, for example, every turn you should be checking this org marketplace to see if there's anything here worth getting. Every turn you kind of have to check if your people are ready to level up. Like Seamus Lenigan here, he has 27 XP so I can level him up. Now we have a... We have a oh, wait, wait. He's a quick learner. He's going to level up faster. That's amazing. So he's going to level up 20% faster. Or rather, he's going to level up 25% faster because it's 20% cheaper for him to level up. I think that's how that works. So we could give him the government trait. I don't think that's particularly useful. National hero. 24 XP. Mm, not very useful. Let's see. Eminent would give him some influence income. Eminent is quite good. Connected would also give him some influence income. Opinion leader would give him some influence income. And I think... That is the resource that I find myself needing the most in the early game. So I am going to go ahead and take Eminent here to give him plus six influence per month. It might not seem like much, but it will add up over time. Let's see, are any of my other governors ready to level? You've got 33 experience. Let's see, what can you pick up? 
Survivor, hard target. That just gives you security. Streetwise is just security and investigation. Affluent would give you a little bit of cash. This can be leveled up multiple times to increase your cash flow. So what is your actual role here? You're a diplomat. And I feel like diplomats should have really high persuasion. Unfortunately, you don't have any baseline influence income, um, which is a little bit of a problem for someone who should be a diplomat. So I'll need to find a way to get you a little bit of influence income um, that we could then modify. But yeah, I'm going to start leveling up your persuasion so that you're more effective. This will also increase my command cap, which is quite nice. Venicio is ready to level up as well. What can I do to augment him? I could remove his averse trait. So this would make him more able to act in countries with high unrest. I don't think that's completely necessary. He is a politician, so I'm mostly concerned about persuasion and in particular investigation because that's what you need for crackdowns and purges. So I'm going to start leveling his investigation. And then for my celebrity, uh, Jeremy Ozubteng, he mostly is concerned with public campaigns. I could give him the rich trait. He's currently wealthy. Rich is significantly better. It's not that much better. Famous is quite nice. It would remove his eminent trait. It's not that good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to continue to level his persuasion. Um, I feel like having a high level of persuasion on this guy would make him very, very useful for controlling countries. And then we've leveled up all our characters and we can continue our turn. So I think we're going to do a... We're going to set national policy in France and we're going to try to get the UK into our federation. Um, you've been doing really, really good work with me. I think I'd like you to maybe try to contact one of the other factions. Uh, like the resistance, if we could get a non-aggression pact with them and maybe some friendship. I think the resistance is a faction we can work with. I definitely feel that way. And I'm going to use this guy to try to inspire loyalty in some of my governors to keep them a little bit happier. But yeah, influence is an incredibly important resource, especially early game. It becomes I, I would argue that it becomes a little bit less important later on in the game, but it's Make really, really useful. Um, we've made contact with the resistance. Uh, let's have a look what they have. They have kinetic pressure control, wolfhound forge. They don't have any have, they don't have any projects. I don't have any projects to sell. We don't really have resources. What about a non-aggression pact? I'm willing to pay like 2,500. Oh, okay, so what does a non-aggression pact mean? So this is an agreement not to do hostile actions against me. I'm gonna give them 300 cash for them to not be aggressive against me. So now if I go in here into this screen, um, we should be able to see, yeah, our relationship is tolerance and non-aggression. We are in conflict with these guys. Um, and I think another faction that we might be able to work with is the initiative. I'd have to kind of figure out who I want to be. Yeah, but I, I don't want to come into conflict with the aliens, ideally. The servants I'm fine with coming into conflict with. So good job. You've inspired. We can't tell him which his loyalty has increased, but you have inspired him, which is good. That is unlucky. A random module on the International Space Station is going to be destroyed, which is going to require us to rebuild it. I suppose this is as good a time as any to, to talk about that. So let's go up here into the... International Space Station and get to work on it. So it looks like this was destroyed here. Uh, what I really want to get up here are some Xenology labs. That would cost 1.5 boost to get that up there. Let's do... Uh, let me cancel. How do I repair this? This hub module no longer functions. A new one may be built here. How much does a solar collector cost to boost up? 1.5. I'm going to send up a Xenology lab first. Reason being is this will increase our ability to detect alien activity. We do already have a solar collector up here. And I could probably turn on this lab right here. I don't think we actually need to send up another solar module because a single solar module can power this space station entirely. So that'll be fine. The only real question is, does that module... No, it has no support cost. So we don't need to worry about that. Right, we've performed the crackdown in the UK. We almost have full control of the UK. Let us begin Federation talks. Wait, can we not talk to the UK yet? Hang on. Let me see here. What is the issue? Ah, I need to be in control of the UK for another 150 days before I can do that. We may as well roll the dice on Iceland to see if they'll join the Federation. No, they refuse to join. That's fine. We don't really care about that. Cost is 10 influence. Ah, we've spotted alien abductions in Bulgaria, so we are going to want to check that out. How's the war in Ukraine going? Russia? I can't tell if Russia has occupied anywhere yet. They are trying to occupy the Kiev region. Nobody's managed to... Oh, I don't like that the servants have two control points here. I'm going to have to start acting against the servants there. Um, and to that end... That is my plan. But for now, let's get full control of the United Kingdom and we'll start doing public campaigns in Russia to get our relationship up there so we can start to act against the servants. Now, the servants are the people who want the aliens to win. They want the aliens to succeed and defeat us all, which is obviously, you know, we want to see the aliens as equals, so we don't want them to be wiped out, nor do we want them to completely dominate us. We want those, we want them to see us as equals. So like that is going to be our goal. So we're going to have to work against humanity first and a couple of other factions um, to make that happen. So Seamus Lenigan 
is in decent spot now. I could start advising Germany to get extra technology. And I think I will do that. I don't have really much else I can do with this guy for now. So I think it's spending a little bit of influence every turn cycle to boost Germany's income by a little bit, I think is totally worth it. Yeah, so he's increasing their research by 9% and their investment points by 9%, which is perfect. You can see here, they're getting just a little bit extra of each. Uh, Humanity First has completed advanced chemical rocketry. We'll get access to a bunch of new stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I don't really see any new projects for me to research in here. I could start researching things like space docks, but I don't plan to build interplanetary craft yet. I think our main goal is to get to industrialization. What does deep space propulsion do? It would allow a mission to asteroids. What is that? Advanced electromag... Yeah, this, this leads to mass drivers, so I'm definitely going to pump research into this technology, advanced electromagnetism, and we'll see where that takes us. So I'll pump research into that. I am making a really, really good amount of research. In fact, I think if I were to check the resources of all the factions, I think I'm far and away the most technologically advanced. Yeah, I'm thinking, making about 50% more science than anyone. Everyone else had about an average of like 7 to 10. I'm making 17 per day. We have now completed the or outpost hab technology they have started deep system skywatch which is now putting the countdown on my destruction on people being really upset with me because my my popularity will take a huge hit when deep system skywatch is completed um so basically this is the technology that is required to get outpost cores which is required to get bases on the moon on mars and all the other planetoids in the in the galic in the solar system so it's a critical technology that we've just unlocked we have completed an alien abduction investigation uh, humans kill each other in great numbers, but they imply abductions, imply research, imply selection. Their actions, one performs upon lesser creatures. Uh, our list of al allies may grow thin soon. So we're starting to discover that the aliens have a bit of a subversive presence on Earth. We're going to have to research a little bit more about the alien methods. I do recommend if you want to read these things, go ahead and pause the video. I wish I could make the UI bigger if you're on mobile that you could read it. But basically, people are starting to have real divisions about how we deal with the aliens. Some people are saying we should go to war. Some people are saying the aliens are going to inevitably conquer us. We now have full control over the UK. That's amazing. Perfect. We have access to the alien methods technology. Uh, we are going to start researching that. That's an important tech to get. I'm going to put that up to a similar priority as advanced electromagnetism. It'll take a little bit of time to get finished, um, but this is a good one to pick up. It'll allow us to detect when aliens make contact with other humans. So that's going to be quite helpful in our ability to get in contact with the aliens ourselves. Looks like the organization marketplace has updated. Ooh, I really, really want control of some of these. I definitely need to get my influence income up. That's something I'm really, really struggling with. Um, but this is fantastic. Plus two boost per month is genuinely insane. I need to have control of a faction in Stockholm. I think that's worth it to take the hit. I'm going to purge this faction to get control of Stockholm. Uh, let's take Vinicio. I'm going to use you. I'm going to defend interests in the UK to protect our interests there. Vinicio, I'm going to send you over to purge in Sweden. I'll add like two influence to that. And then once we control Sweden, we should be able to grab Libertarium, these guys here. Yeah, there's nothing too amazing in here. A lot of the things are a lot of the things that I really, really want are being bought up. My influence income is too low for me to really get what I need. I would love to get control of MI6. Oh my God, dude. I think I'm the only person who's going to be able to get MI6, but it's going to take me a long time to get them because my influence income is so low right now. I will be able to slowly increase my influence income as my governor's level. and I increase my control capacity. But for now, I'm going to be kind of struggling along. I'm not going to I'm going to be looking to spend as little influence as possible because I want to buy more orcs instead. I'm going to do surveillance uh, near where I think alien activity is. So it's really, really bad that the aliens are in control of Russia. Let's take a moment to take stock of um, the alien situation. So they're in control of Russia, in control of Kazakhstan, Georgia, Senegambia. So it looks like they're setting up based or, or base in this area, in the Russian region, in the um, the northwestern Asia region or far eastern european region this kind of whole section all around here is where the aliens have set up they might have a base in the area already i'll have to start scanning and looking for them um, and i'll have to start shutting down their the servants holdings in this area and trying to attack their control points and stuff like that the most important way that i do that is to increase my popularity in russia and see if i can maybe just break a couple of control points and see if someone else can get control all right let's go to our next section seamus will just do a little bit of a scan over here perfect so we have all of our interests perfectly defended so now we're capable of researching space tugs this is going to be an important tech for us um that'll increase the rocket powered tug speed up delivery of hab modules where hab modules will get delivered faster speaking of which 
our xenology department has been built on the International Space Station, which will make it easier for us to detect alien activity on Earth. I'm really hoping this purge in Sweden goes through. Okay, that's amazing. We managed to get a purge off in Sweden, which means I'm immediately going to come in here. Ooh, yeah, Russia conquered Ukraine. So that doesn't normally happen in my games. Uh, but Russia conquered Ukraine, unfortunately. We'll have to figure out a way to deal with that because Ukraine actually can join the EU. I'll accept that for now. I need to get the aliens out of Russia. So I think that's going to just be a long process of boosting my opinion in there. Right, so Libertatum Terre. That'll be two boosts per month. That's huge. Two mission control. That's huge. And plus one project capacity. Um, who's my most astronaut-like character? Probably the scientist. I'm going to put Libertatum Terre in control of my scientist. And now he's producing extra boost income. Two boosts per month, by the way is an insane amount of boost. Like, literally insane amount of boost. Speaking of boost, let's go to the International Space Station. We have one Xenology Lab, but what about second Xenology Lab? Let's get it in place. Boom. It's under construction now. We have two labs activated. So these little laboratories, they produce a very small trickle of science, 60 per year, which is not a huge amount, but it's also not terrible. The more important part of what they do is they boost a particular technology area. So for example, this space science lab will give me 3% extra science towards space science projects. If I go into here, you can see deep space propulsion, we're getting a 3% investment priority upgrade um, from that. Uh, whereas alien methods, we're getting a 14% boost because we have xenology labs and we have also investigated alien activity, which is giving us a boost. So yeah, there's kind of like a whole, there's a whole like meta of how I weave these things together. I'm also going to immediately abandon Sweden now that we captured that agency that I really wanted. Let's have a look around. Um, the Taipei region has a couple of cool ones. There's a really, I, if I got control of the Bundesbelize, that'd be quite nice. Um, actually, speaking of control, is there a counselor here capable, ooh, operative? This is ideal. What are you? You're a low profile, you're brazen, you're government, and you're earthbound. Oh, I need someone who can go to space as well. I don't know if you can get rid of the earthbound ability. <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna have to pass on this guy and wait until I find another guy. So this guy's uh, getting another stay of execution, although I might get rid of another guy. Uh, Venecio is ready to level. Now he's my investigator, but I still do need persuasion. First of all, because it'll increase my influence income. But second of all, it'll increase my control cap, which will also increase my influence income. So I just, I need to get that influence income. Like one influence per day you can survive on. That's 300 influence per year. Right now, I'm really not surviving. Oh, cool. So we've discovered super heavy, super heavy chemical rockets. We're going to want to upgrade that because that'll give us a boost to our national boost priority, um, which essentially is when you can, when you invest points through a comp country's abilities here, you can see here, um, France is investing 35% of its investment points into the boost priority. I'm actually going to lower that slightly and try to put a little bit more towards the economy. But yeah, if you can increase the boost investment, that means every single point that you put in here is worth more. So that's why certain early game projects will increase the amount of boost you can put into into those priorities. It's, it's really, really effective at getting that early game boost that will allow you to get assets into space and thus be able to start a space-based economy rather than relying entirely on Earth for your entire economy. Brilliant, we've just completed alien methods. So we have discovered more about them and we can detect alien contact with humans, which will allow us to check the codex. By the way, the game has a codex um, that is just full of really, really, really cool stuff. If I come down here, as you can see here, we can see a list of the alien missions. So for example, one of the missions aliens can do is an abduction. The codex is really, really handy because there's actually a lot of really useful information in here, like about nation stats. It'll tell you about every single one of these things do. Um, it'll tell you priorities and economy, international relations, how federations work, how policies work, what policies you can set, how armies work. There's all this information in here. I could go through and talk about every single one of these things, but I think it's far more interesting if I just sit here and I talk about things in a very general way. So we have have completed the objective. The alien abductions seem to follow a clear pattern. They first they took animals, now they are taking people. Um, so at first they took animals, then they took people, and then they started taking important people. So there may be some subversive activity going on from the aliens here. Something that we are going to have to watch out for. Uh, so our job now is to investigate people who have been abducted and returned. So we'll be surveilling um, and investigating alien activity everywhere we possibly can to try and find 
what the aliens are up to. In terms of new technology, I'm going to go for super heavy chemical rockets. This will allow me to increase the boost priority by 10%. That's always a really good one to pick up. 10% might not seem like a huge amount, but trust me, it helps. Ooh, nice. We also have reusable rockets, which will increase boost priority by 20%, which is really, really good because we are building up our boost priority with France. France is already up to 1.6 per month. And every time we fill this boost thing, we increase that by 0 0.2 to 0 0.34 per year. We're also pretty heavily trying to boost our popularity in Russia. We're up to a 51% opinion in Russia right now. Um, we're just boosting, 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 boosting. I'm also keeping an eye on Deep System Skywatch because when that technology completes, we're going to have to take a few actions. So our current purge success chance is very, very low. Council of National Economy, Defend Interest, Party Control Point, Control Points and Rivals. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one. Um, so we are going to just continue to boost opinion here. We need to get the aliens out of here, essentially. We don't necessarily have to take control of Russia ourselves, but we need to try to break the aliens hold on it. Well, I, I keep saying aliens, it's the servants. They may as well be the same thing, right? Deep Space Propulsion has been researched. Project Exodus contributed the most, and now they're researching mission to the moon. So this is about heading out of the solar system and landing you know, craft and other planets. And it's all about increasing ship novel efficiency, all this sort of stuff. And this is, there's essentially three paths of propulsion ahead of us. Uh, electromagnetic, electrostatic, and electrothermal propulsion. And we're going to be given, we could actually theoretically develop all three, but probably inefficient. But we're working on advanced electromagnetism right now. Another new project available. This has to do with even more advanced chemical rocketry. These are interplanetary chemical rockets, which will increase our boost priority by 10%. That's fantastic. Exactly the kind of things we want to be seeing. And we have just finished researching advanced electromagnetism. So these are all to do with um, magnetic based engines. Now, in terms of the technology we want to research, we want to get mass drivers because we want to get space mining and refining. We'd like to start mining in space as soon as possible. It will take us quite a while to get there. We have to save up a lot of boost. We do have a really, really good boost income. Uh, speaking of which, um, ooh, Taliban Industries plus five administration. Definitely want him in control of Seamus L Lenigan. Let's grab that. That'll be another five administration on him as well as a three percent investment increase in the economy and 75 cash all right looking forward to that that is a really really good pickup oh my god i really need to get control of the imf the international monetary fund uh let me have a look here who has influence i think i need to buy some influence from people yeah i'm going to try to buy influence from some of the factions here i'll exchange my cash for influence the that would allow me to buy the imf which would give me massive control uh massive administration boosts our popularity in Russia is still quite high. Other people are trying to boost popularity in this country, which is a bit of a problem. The problem we have as well is these points are protected until July, April and October. Ooh, we have discovered some xenoforms. So alien microbes and alien plants. This is like Tiberian. It always reminds me of Tiberian Sun and uh, Tiberian Dawn. But there are some alien life forms that we've discovered and we are going to have to start to deal with them. So if you remember, I believe the alien spaceship crashed here early in the game. Don't forget, one also crashed in France, and I think one crashed in Bulgaria, and another one crashed in Russia. So we're going to start to see the side effects of that soon. Yeah, now we can research alien flora. Yeah, the aliens are rapidly becoming popular in Russia. So we're going to have to start investigating and figuring out, figuring out what's going on in Russia and discovering what the aliens are up to. So let's do a little bit of surveillance on top of boosting our own popularity there. Um, I'd also like to make contact with... The initiative, do you have influence to sell? You don't have much influence to sell. How is our relationship? They're in conflict with us, unfortunately. Yeah, nobody really has influence for me to buy. I'll keep an eye on this screen, though. Let me have a look. Who has the highest influence income out of all my guys? I could buy Akrok strat Strategic Relations. This would give me plus five monthly unity. I will grab that there. Boom. That'll get us closer to getting control of the IMF and the, the Bundespolizei. So I think, unfortunately, someone is going to have to go here. I need to get rid of someone. and I need somebody who can attack alien assets. Divakar is still the best option. Oh, I don't like that he's the best option because he can't leave the planet. I might just have to recruit Divakar, even if I really don't want him because of his the negative parts of what he can do. The question is, which of these people is the least useful to me? Um, strangely enough, it could be Bao Mila. What do you do? You don't do anything particularly super interesting. I mean, you do public campaigns, which is handy, but you're not particularly strong in any of those categories. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him. And then alternatively, I will recruit Divakara Synapathy. 
I hate to spend the influence on that, but that's what has to be done. Ah, I can remove the Earthbound trait. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So let's take Divakar and start fighting against the aliens. Now, his command isn't particularly good, so we are going to have to spend special ops here, which is really not good. I'm just going to spend one point and then put him on that mission on repeat until he destroys the alien um, stuff. So Bao Mila is ready to level up, and she's very much so good to go let's see i think i'm going to give her administration level ups now this will allow her to control more organizations and it'll also increase my influence by reducing the penalty to influence that i'm taking jeremy obentong can also level up he's good at persuasion i'll give him a persuasion level that'll increase our control our influence is slowly 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 climbing uh, and i believe actually my main guy seamus here He's ready to level up. And I think I'm going to give him administration because I just I just need those influence points. I need that administration capacity. I need all of those things to go my way. Okay, we've completed super heavy chemical rockets. Let's go ahead and pick a new technology. Space tugs are handy. It's not super important. It would be, I think it is pretty important for me to get outpost cores researched. That seems important enough to me. That's going to be an important part of actually landing on the moon and doing what we need there. Another alien fleet has landed. Are they still sending transports? What are you? Yeah, they're still landing their agents on the earth as far as I can tell. This is kind of inferences I've made rather than stuff that I know for sure. The International Space Station, I'm going to turn off the Space Science Lab and instead turn on the Xenology Lab. So now we have a 20% boost towards alien technology research. If I go in here and change this project to alien flora, you can see we're going to get 20% boost plus four from various other little tiny things we've done. But more importantly, we're going to have an easier time detecting alien activity on Earth. Looks like a... Alien ship has crashed into Turkey, so that's something we're going to want to keep an eye on. Um, they definitely seem to be concentrating their that's power in that area. We managed to successfully assault that alien asset. It was only a 25% reduction in the Xenoflora, but every success is a success and I'm willing to take it. High thrust probes is a great one to pick up. What's really, really important about high thrust probes is that it means your probes always get to the planet that you're investigating first. So I'll get that one under research as well. Now, how this research screen works is fairly simple. Basically, the research is split up based on how many boxes are filled and then it just splits it. So right now I'm focusing heavily on my own research and then a little bit on global research. Ooh, Vela Holdings. So this will cost me 1.2 thousand money, but it will give me plus four administration and plus one to economy investment. I'm going to go ahead and put that in control of Seamus. Seamus's org capacity is getting really, really high. His administration is really high. It's going to be worth it now to start advising soon. Um, let's go ahead and grab that. Now remember, by buying administration, we increase our administrative capacity, thus increasing our influence income because we pay extra influence for being over our cap. We want to get to our cap if we can. Now, speaking of which, I think it's time to do a diplomatic update on France. So 70 more days that we can bring the United Kingdom back into the European Union. And it's currently June... So it'll only be a few more months before we can unify Germany and the Benelux. I'm going to permanently assign Seamus to looking after Germany. Um, essentially, he's giving now such a huge boost to investment and research that he should be doing that. Which means I'm going to have a lot less actions to influence the world's politics. Ugh. So orbital debris. There has been no fleet battles, but there is orbital debris up there. So let's see here. Um, up to four modules at the International Space Station are destroyed, or a cascading failure, a random sector will be destroyed, two modules are destroyed, and debris will increase. I can order into double shifts. This will destroy three modules and cost me a thousand, but I don't have the armor technology. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a way to prevent this. So I'm just going to have to accept that the International Space Station is going to take a hit here, and that's going to require some repairs. This is really bad RNG. Normally, this doesn't actually happen. Um, Yeah, but you can see Seamus in charge of Germany is increasing the research output by 9%, but increasing the investment points by 19%. That's a 20% boost to that country's output. That's insane. I'm going to put him on that as a permanent assignment. So it said up to three modules could be destroyed, and it looks like we got pretty lucky in that three modules were not destroyed. I'm going to decommission this science hub because it is costing me a little bit of modules. It'll take 0 0.4 to evacuate in 64 days for the operation to complete. Oh, I want to decommission the entire hub. I want to decommission the module. So yes, that's better. So we're going to decommission the space science lab and we're going to rebuild the xenology lab. That's a painful hurt to my boost income. You know, every, every little tiny chunk of boost that you can get is so huge. So it looks like some kind of alien abduction is going on in Armenia, which is obviously very close to this recent alien crash. So there's an awful lot of interesting things going on in the Caucasus region. 
Perfect, we can now build outpost cores, so we will be able to colonize the moon soon. Let's get started on alien flora would be a good tech to unlock. I'm going to double check my objectives here. Uh, return to abductees, alien origin and save salvaging alien technology. Okay, so we're, we're working on things. We're getting more knowledge about the aliens. We have completed the investigate returned abductees. Our security forces are particularly hard hit by our drop in support. Soldiers are inclined to fight, not wait and see. Many have abandoned us for groups aiming re to resist the alien. Now, technically, the drop in support hasn't happened yet because I've been trying to delay Deep System Skywatch, which is going to uh, trigger soon. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of cheesing to try to defeat that. I'm a middle ranking civil servant, but no prior history of violence or extreme of discover gathering information on the residents, persons, or superiors. From context, the information was clearly for the purpose of kidnapping, if not outright assassination. Two similar cases in the same country were also detected. The civil servant was previously an abduction victim and to all appearances he is now assisting his former captors. So it looks like when the aliens abduct people they have some sort of ability to influence what they do when they come back. Very very curious. Worth investigating. There's a hundred signs left for Deep System Skywatch which means it's about to trigger and when that triggers uh, the world will discover that the aliens are not entirely peaceful and half of all of our control points in the world will suffer a vulnerability. This means what we want to do is to find really, really cheap control points all around the world to very quickly get control of, to dilute our control point holdings and thus kind of very gently cheese the game into not causing us as many problems. So basically everyone, except for, well, I think including Seamus, um, we're going to be looking for really, really cheap countries in Africa to get control of because if we lose control of our control points in Africa, we're not too worried about it. Now, technically, this could also backfire because this could result in um, our control points, more of our control points in Europe being blocked. So this is a bit of a risky move. I will fully and readily admit that. I think though this dilution, I think it might be the right move. So we've just discovered mass drivers, which is an important technology for being able to fire uh, resources around in space. So we can enable rapid long distance transport of like, exponentially greater masses, particularly in space. And that means we'll be allowed to pick a new technology. The most important one here is space mining and refining, which will give us access to the outpost mining complex and be able to begin mining on the moon. We're miners on the moon. We carry our harpoons. I know that was whalers on the moon. I know it's not the same thing, but to me, it may as well have been miners on the moon. Ooh, did that technology trigger early? Uh-oh, it did trigger early. That's quite bad for me. So we detected an alien base. Yeah, we're detecting all the alien bases. Ooh, boy. Um, so global research complete. We have Deep System Skywatch, which allows us to have a better view of the whole solar system, which will allow us to track alien vessels and structures and immediately reveal all alien vessels and structures. So if I go ahead and zoom out to the solar system view, you can see the aliens have a base around the system of AMA. I would like to zoom in faster, please. Here it is. The alien station Able. This was their home base, I believe, in this um, place. We don't know where they came from, but we know this was their first base and they appear to be consistently sending out uh, ships. You can see Victor 7 here. I don't know where Victor 7 is destined. It looks like it's going to Neptune. Victor 6 is heading towards the inner solar system. Victor 4 is also heading towards the inner solar system. So is Victor 5. They might be heading towards Earth or perhaps even some of these like Sun-Earth transition points. It's a little bit, a little bit scary, but I'm pretty sure this whole thing is modeled reasonably well. Like you can build um, space stations out in these locations. Um, obviously, we can't do that yet, but you could basically have this entire galaxy bristling with space bases and space mining. Obviously, there's a limit to how much the galaxy can support in terms of resources. Um, now we're able to research where the aliens came from. Perfect. We found out more about the alien activity. We've taken control of Burkina Faso and the Ivory Coast and Mali, as well as the Central African Republic. We're starting to get control of some countries in Africa purely as a way to dilute our power across the world on a temporary basis. So let's continue to dilute our power in the hope that this works out in our favor. There is a chance this doesn't work out in our favor. It can always go that way, but I'm hoping that this gamble pays off. Brilliant, we can now do the alien operations technology so we can detect all of the aliens missions. Oof, here it is. Though they have not come in peace. So this was the event I was not looking forward to. Um, roughly half of the control points belonging to the Academy will suffer a crackdown effect for 12 months. That makes them much easier to purge and we're going to suffer a massive loss in public opinion. And all nations will move towards one extreme value in cohesion. Either they'll move towards authoritarianism or anarchy 
depending. So this is the major early game crisis that we are going to have to overcome. And let me tell you, we're going to be doing it in the next episode. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.